Hi guys, Brick Genius 3 here, and I have a Lego Harry Potter mock. So this is, um, if this will stand. This mock is supposed to be Snape Potions class. And I'm very proud of this mock, I think it looks a lot like it. Even, um, not just in the Lego game, but it looks like a combination of the Lego game. Lego Harry Potter years 1 through 4 and a combination of the um the movie so so let me it's kind of dark so let me put up the brightness okay so right here you have Snape he's at his desk Correcting papers, not noticing what's going on with Ron and Harry. Ron did something wrong, wrong with his potion. It's on fire, and if you see his face, let me turn it. It's like, oh no. And Harry's not noticing what Ron just did, but his potion is supposed to be like that. So he did it right. I think I did really good with this. I'm really proud of it. This is my first time doing a mock like this. And for my first one, I think it went pretty well. I used this right here. The slopes with a corner slope. Oh, you can't see. A corner slope. To give it, like, a stand. You could see. Uh, I wish I had these plates in black. I only have them in dark bluish gray. Um, a baby blue color, or maybe it's called light blue, and tan, and light bluish gray. Because, um, or I could have done it with light bluish gray, but I didn't have three of those. I only have two. But the base of the wall is green. I wanted to use a dark green, but I don't have a lot of dark green bricks. Right here is, um, a couple arches. I really like this arch right here. It has um 2x2 two two bricks with round 2x2 two two bricks and those arches. It's not one arch, it's actually two of them. I put one in front of the back one. Over here is another arch with cheese slopes for texture. And on the arches, I put these slopes. I like how that looks. I really wish I had um, dark green bricks and slopes for this. Because I feel like Slytherin, like, because Snape is Slytherin. He's the head of the Slytherin. So, um, I wish it was dark green because it's more Slytherin. This one's just regular green. But I made this cool light. It's really cool. I used a bunch of faucet pieces. Those those weird clip pieces. I don't know what they're called. And round one by one bricks. My favorite part of this is probably this. Because what's a potion class without ingredients? It's on jumpers. If you could see. Let me zoom in. See? Jumpers. So you could take it off and like play with it. But um right here is the um there's a bunch of potions or not potions. It doesn't have to be potions, it could be ingredients too. Like right here it could be gillyweed. And this could be like a dark ingredient because it's black. Just use your imagination. That's the point of Lego, isn't it? But, um, I like how I used the clear bricks for it. That looks cool. And these are just a big, large quantity of ingredients. I don't think a potion could be that much. If I had a white round brick, I would use it for a polyjuice potion. But, um, right here, the tiling, I don't know if I said that already. But, um, pushing it down. 
I used this tiling to make it look like a stone floor because Snape's office is in the dungeon. So, that's pretty much it. I'll give you a close up. So, there's a close up at his office. There's not too much detail here. I focus more in this area because it's Snape's classroom, it's not the student's classroom. Oh, and I used cheese slopes for that. I don't think I said that. I might have. So, tell me what you guys think. I'm probably going to make this a series of Harry Potter scene mocks. So, tell me what you guys think. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.